Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and look what arrived in the mail today. Yup, this is the latest Sound Blaster ZXR. Uh, the latest in the line of the Z series. So I believe you have Z, Sound Blaster Z, Sound Blaster Z Gamer, and then you have the ZXR. This is the top of the line uh, in the group. And joining us today again is uh, I Am Buddha or Te Kuaning, which is actually funny because Kuaning is the goddess of mercy. I, I guess she is one of the Buddhas, but uh, this should probably be the metal goddess of mercy. But anyway, uh, let's put this aside for now and let's proceed with the unboxing. Uh, so for those of you who have been checking out my videos, you should know that I am upgrading. Oh, by the way, where is this made from? I'm pretty sure this is made in China. Does it say? Singaporean company, yeah, Singaporean pride. One of the few, uh, Fabric Ancine, made in China. Can you see? Yep, okay. Anyway, so I've already cut the bottom up. I've not opened it yet. So let's carry on, open it up. Okay, let's see. Uh, mm, one thing I like about Creative uh, is that they tend to provide all the cables required. So like in this case, you have a 3.5. Focus, my friend. Focus. Okay, a 3.5 mm. Two twin RCA cables. So one left and one right. Why isn't my camera focusing? Okay useful I guess. I may be using that. This is another 3.5mm to RCA connection. So this is more of an... Hello? This is more of an input. Sorry, an output. So this is for existing connections that you have. I'm probably going to use this for my mic to connect into the sister board which I will be showing you later. Uh, okay, let's see what's... Mm. This is a component by itself, okay. Uh, okay, this is... So how do you... I guess we should take this out. Yeah, okay. So let's see what's in this box. Oh, this is the controller. Crystal voice controller with a built-in mic. Uh, try the, I guess they are trying to make it like a premium product you know with a velvet feel where okay let's open up from the bottom uh, okay more connectors wow this control is big okay let's get it out of packaging oh this thing is huge Okay, I thought it, I expected this to be maybe like half the size or something, but uh, think about it this way. This is the palm of my hand. Okay, so I mean, my my the size of my palm is an average palm, so uh, <laughs> this is huge. But yeah, it's very convenient. Everything is here. Uh, you have the volume control, of course. You have connectors for the microphone and uh, headphones, and they come in both flavors. They come in the standard 3.5 mm jack, and this is the I think this is the one. I'm not sure what you call it. Is this the one quarter inch uh, connector, the big one? Yeah. But uh, anyway, they put both here, and there is a built-in microphone as well. Now this is supposed to be a what they call a beam forming mic. So the idea is uh, through some magic of sound engineering. Um, this mic should be able to isolate my voice even if I'm not using headphones. So, like, uh, I, recently I've been recording a lot of Let's Plays, uh, and most people when they record, when they do streaming or Let's Plays, they use headphones, right? Because obviously you have a mic, you can't play with speakers because it will pick it up and then there'll be feedback and whatnot. So, uh, supposedly with beamforming mics, uh, this shouldn't be a problem because it, the system is able to isolate. Uh, sounds from a certain direction uh, so I guess I should make this face me 
while I test it out and uh, I should be able to have the speakers on pretty loud and it will not uh, interfere with the sound of my voice so we shall see if that's the case then uh, it's fantastic because I prefer speakers to headphones of it's much more comfortable right so anyway this is the control panel and this goes let's see now this is for the earphone and this is for the mic yeah oh so this are connectors so I've had uh, my previous sound blaster card is the what you call it let me get the sound of boxes out taking up a lot of space is the X5 uh, Gamer Pro by Fatality so this is an upgrade and I still have some of the they provide a lot of connectors I still have some of the connectors uh, in storage so very useful quite high quality this is the cable to connect the main why is my camera not focusing today okay uh, to connect the main board to the sister board or oh, it's trying to focus on the <laughs> box okay fine 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 let's put all this aside now this is empty this box how are you supposed to okay fine I guess you're supposed to open from the pot top but I don't like it because I want to keep the box that's why I open it from the bottom okay, anyway ah, so there is a preview of the pots when you see it in the store as well it's quite quite nice because it teases you with the card itself very looking very nice the sound core 3d processor over here Okay, let's open everything up. What is this? Uh, where is the... Okay, I'm assuming these are the drivers. Oh, more cables? Alright. What is... Oh, so they provide an optical connector as well. That's convenient. Drivers. So I'll probably never use this, I will just go ahead and download from the internet of course because those are the latest uh, for those of us who are fortunate enough to have an internet connection. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Let's take out the boards now. Mm, so many boxes, so much space. Okay, let me get rid of let's take this out of the picture so that the camera does not get distracted mm, okay let's have a look at the main sound card ah, oh I'm gonna hit my cup there looking beautiful so this is a full metallic uh, EMF shield now this obviously it's a cutout to show off its uh, processing unit. Now, there has been uh, some discussion about this because apparently in the new sound core processing unit, um, a lot of the processors are no longer hardware based. It is a um, some people don't like it. I mean, of course, the conventional wisdom says that um, if there's a dedicated chip to process that thing, uh, the quality will be better. But in this case, uh, it seems like a lot of people were not happy because a lot, some of the processors were thrown to the software side of things. And uh, a lot of people actually say that the X5 chip, the one before this, is better than the Soundcore 3D chip. So, and uh, part of the reason why the the previous generation before the Sound Blaster X it was the Recon 3D era right uh, a lot of people slammed the Recon 3D cuts because they were low quality uh, part of they blame part of the faults on this cut and another reason of course is the poor components the cheap components that were used on the 
sound card itself. So I am. Should I open this up to have a, to let you guys have a look? Let's see if I can open this up. Hmm. Let me get a screwdriver. Ah! Okay, so that is not required. Okay, so this is the card itself. A lot of high quality components. I can't give you a detailed run through about all these, but uh, long story short, the components are very high quality, um, enthusiast level capacitors and MOSFETs and whatnot. So, and you, you can you even see that there's a barrier here. So this is another EMF barrier to block interference from circuitry on these two sides. You know, the attention to detail is fantastic. And uh, I believe there are some of these capacitors here that can be changed. So I can't remember what this is called now, but uh, if you are into sound engineering and you know what you're doing, you can actually change the capacitors here uh, to the ones that you like. To help increase the sound quality of course so okay this is the main board you have the mic input earphone inputs this is the front and the right with its own dedicated RCA co connectivity this is rear so this is front left front right uh, rear left rear right and for the subwoofer as well its own little channel come on camera please Yes, thank you very much. So, uh, subwoofer, rear, front left, front right, earphones and mic. Now, the the earphones, uh, one special aspect about this card is that the earphone jack has its own amplifier, uh, its own 600 ohm amplifier. So, if you are the type to use headphones and you want to use good headphones, uh, some one of the problems with such computer-based sound cards is that it doesn't have its own amp so a lot of people buy their own external amplifiers to connect to the headphone out of the card so with this um, you don't need to unless you have a super 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 high-end card that needs a very 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 good amplifier uh, it is unlikely you need to buy a separate one alright so this is the main board very nice EMF shielding on it Oops. Okay, and this is the sister board. So this is more of an input. So the main board, the main sound card focuses more on output. This focuses more on input. As you can see here, there is auxiliary in, dedicated RCA channels for left and right. Uh, and then you have the optical out and you have the optical in as well and it has its own 3D processor so if you want high quality recording uh, this should be the connections that you use right because it has its own processing for recording and out and uh, input and output of uh, the optical channels as well so let's uh, open this up also to have a look there should be enough Thankfully, all the screws are of the same type. Oh, oh. Oops, so this removes the... Ah, okay, this one. This screw it removes the front cover as well, so we hold it there. So as you can see, even here, the capacitors have protection from the processor and each other, of course. So, okay. Time to put everything back together. Okay, so guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I'm, I look forward to putting this card through its paces. I may write a full review 
on this uh, obviously not a video of course because uh, the card will be inside the computer already so I may write it we shall see and uh, if it if I do it will be up on the blog so my blog being uh, theerenloy.com now uh, it's not that I'm egoistic but uh, apparently there is another guy, a Christian country singer, also called Aaron Loy, and he already bought AaronLoy.com. So, uh, I didn't know what to do. I just thought, okay, so I am the AaronLoy.com. Right. So, anyway, that's a short story behind my domain. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Do like and subscribe to this channel. If you want to, if you want to support this channel as well, remember to use the links uh, provided in the description below. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.